I'm here. The guy said, Boom, get on your side, boom. As I come right here, I get, get control right away. Okay, come up, knee, step it over. X break, right into control. Holy shit, you guys gave us basically pizza. Pizza? Yeah, we, uh, we had our um, five year anniversary event yeah. and uh, we ordered seven jumbo pizzas from the pizza place next door. They charged us 50 bucks. Wow. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's really good. It's nice. Yeah. It's like $3. Right? That's like, you can't do the math. Yeah, right? please don't do the math. <laughs> <laughs> That's like $3 a pizza. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's go eat some pizza after this. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. hungry. <laughs> All right. Teach me grappling. What's up? I'm Brian Peterson. I've got these gentlemen here today to help me out. Do you guys want to help me or no? Yeah, I'm super down. Sure. Okay. You help. Okay. Um, we're, we're here. Go ahead and lay down on your stuff. Guys, we have this drill. Um, again, I suck because I don't make up cool names like 10 Planet. Um, so when the guy turns on his side, he gets the underhook right here. First one, I'm dropping. I bring my leg over. Remember, this leg is up. I show you this drill just about every video. Drop the knee, bring my elbow to the far side, swing my leg, catch his arm in the armpit, grab his triceps, scoop under, catch the underhook, modify Keskatami. Get up on your knee, lock your hands, shoulder smash. Notice my right leg is up. He's framing, he turns on his side. I pinch, guys, I'm not wizarding. I'm not wizarding, I'm pinching my elbow, mm -hmm. feeding his head from here to here, and dropping my elbow, catching it in my armpit. Now that's the drill done like this, but in reality, a lot of times, you're not gonna be able to catch that arm in your armpit, because your opponent is gonna go for a single leg, or um, maybe they're just gonna retract their elbow and pull it in. Mm -hmm. So when I get up right here, and I'm locked, and he, he frames and he goes here. He's going, he's using this under to hold you tight. Either your waist or your leg. Okay, and then when this happens and I drop my knee, okay, watch what happens over here. As I put my elbow down, this arm is on my leg and you see my right elbow can't swipe it. So like if his arm was out, just open your arm, boom, I could swipe it and catch it in the armpit. But because he's holding my leg, when I bring that off, his arm's right there. When it's right there, what I'm gonna do is, my elbow's on the mat, right hand, just slap the wrist right there. Boom, slap the wrist, roll your other hand under, right into the Kimura grip, okay? And I get up here. Now, five fingers outside on the, on the uh, wrist grabs, on the Kimura grip, monkey grip, or, or uh, fish hook, or whatever name you call it, five fingers outside. Here, no, not using my thumbs. Nice and tight right here, I can keep my elbows in and use pressure of my left elbow to keep him down in the rib cage. My, my chest is dropping, my weight is on him. I've dug my toes in in the back, see? So from the back, I've got my toes. I'm here, I'm ready to go, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, it's up to you on how you wanna finish. A real simple approach, if you guys were here, would be to just simply maneuver towards the head, big step over the head, and then try to staple his arm if you can. He may have his hand in different places, you know, something like this. You're gonna drop your knee, try to put it on his biceps, and then he'll be defending the Kimura most likely. This is common. Push and pull, break the grip, and then put the Kimura arm right behind his back. There's a couple different ways to finish. I take the elbow up to the sky, pulling the shoulder out of the socket like this. So I'm trying to do this, pull up as I posture, keeping it to my chest, and then I rotate right there. And you get a very fast tap. This is anatomically the best way to Kimura, to pull the arm out of the socket, the best way. Um, the science of breaking the shoulder. However, I actually, I teach it, but I also show you guys what I think is a little bit more combative and better. Um, because the real, in the real world, people fight. And when they fight, and I try to break right here, I could certainly break his shoulder like this. But what happens is, stay on your side. They, the guys that are really strong, it may not be Eddie, I'm sorry Eddie, you're too skinny to be strong. 
I'm just joking. He's pretty strong too. We're here. He might straighten out. If he's really strong, he might straighten his arm. And then now you're in this situation and he twists his wrist and he pulls his elbow in. So when that happens, you want to make sure that you're pushing this one down as I pull it out of the socket. So now try to straighten. It's tough. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is if you guys get one of those really big husky dudes, I honestly recommend instead of doing this, which actually anatomically breaks his shoulder better, I recommend taking the wrist, putting it behind the back. Mm -hmm. That way I'm flexing it in and I'm not allowing the straighten. So you guys see it, look at my right wrist over here is kind of tight around here. I'm flexing that grip. I'm keeping my body down on his arm. And then you guys can either do this, where I take his elbow in this direction and his wrist in that direction. Or if you need real power in the real situation, you're gonna then drop your right hip and then place your left foot here as I fall into position. Now I'm in a power position right here. As the guy tries to move, it's very hard for him. My knee right here is coming down on his head and I'm pushing that behind the back. Anyway, didn't expect to go through all that Kimura detail, but it's more about getting this attack and, and catching the guy in the transition. So again, I'm here, the guy bumps, gets on his side, good. I step over the head and then when I go here, I caught the arm, right? Mm -hmm. Beautiful, caught the arm. On the next one, I won't catch the arm. I step around, see that wrist? So this hand, I already got it. Boom, Kimura. You guys can step over the head and go right here. Other good options, if you don't want to do a Kimura. Boom, you don't like Kimuras, you like arm bars more because maybe you get here and then the guy's too strong and you can't break the grips. Just lock your hands, for example. And maybe you just, you know, the guy's too strong. So sometimes that happens. We're here, I keep the, keep the pressure down, real simple move. Just put my knee up, okay? I put the knee up on the rib cage first, okay? And then I'm gonna swing my right leg over. Remember, his hand may be trying to block you. He might be a nuisance to block your, your leg. Don't, don't let it go. Yeah, there you go. So I'm gonna take a big step, okay, when I'm here. I'm gonna take a big step and try to throw it into his armpit. Okay, so when I'm here, here I kind of put my leg up, he's trying to block, I'm gonna go over, and then sit down with the Kimura grip. Mm -hmm. Guy tries to move, go. I keep the control. Pass this leg over, I prefer to go inside for X break and keep the Kimura grip the whole time. When you guys are here, you don't wanna take out the Kimura grip and then go like this, he'll let the arm go and he'll hitchhike. And then now you're in a scramble. So use the Kimura grip, pushing and pulling. See, mm. turning like this, so that now, and I keep my knees tight. Now when he tries to hitchhike or whatever, see, I've got the Kimura still, and I can keep it over here. Then I can transfer and chop this leg over. If I have both feet on this side, it's not the end of the world, but he may turn towards you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, doing the sit-up. You gotta be careful this size. I don't want this situation to happen. If, go ahead and do that. We, we're already here. If we're, if we're here, I wanna try to face the legs and take him back over. And then now, I don't want him to sit up. That's another reason why, if my foot is in the armpit and he's starting to close that right elbow, close it tight, you see, I don't have a lot of head pressure on across his head. Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna take my right foot out. Instead, I'm gonna to lean to the right. Go ahead, clamp that. And then I'm gonna fish my left foot through. That way, now when he tries to sit up, it's much more balanced, okay, from here. And then now again, I can straighten and squeeze right here. You won't be able to break the biggest, strongest guys with this, but you know, some guys are still so strong. But go ahead, hold as long as you can. Sure. I'm just gonna squeeze. And tire the guy out. Yeah. If it's not enough, go. If it's not enough right here, guys, it's okay. You guys can try other methods. Okay, yeah. to try to go at an angle and then finish. Okay, control that thumb, squeeze your legs tight and keep this X break, his hand won't be able to come to the other hand. It also controls him really well out of the hitchhiker. He tries to hitchhike, it's really hard to hitchhike and control that thumb, okay? All right, we're, we're here. The guy, the guy gets the underhook out of the side control. Okay, I step over. Look at how my hand's right there. Boom, oh. okay. Obviously guys, you guys have options. You can go wrist control underneath into your gift wrap. Okay, as I gift wrap, stab over the mount. Okay, slide up here. If you guys want, you can lasso off the head and go arm bar from here. You can keep the back. Okay, pull the guy out, get into this position. Body triangle, if it's your cup of tea, 
If it's not, go to the hooks. And then now we're right here and we're going for the threat here oh. of the neck. Okay? Try. So it'll fit together with a with a with a game, a jujitsu game that you probably already have. You everybody needs to know this in jujitsu. This is a base. Kimuras, arm bars, uh, gift wraps. You gotta know how to connect these things. So uh, again, how does it happen? Let's come over here to the black because you got red on. So, okay, so watch. I'm here. The guy said, boom, get on your side, boom. As I come right here, I get, get control right away. Okay, come up, knee, step it over. X break, right into control. One more time. Okay, I have the underhook at first, but he's starting to come here. Boom, catch that. See, a guy pulls his elbow in, he's gonna give it to you. Roll that hand right through there. Try to trap that, yeah. See that? Get into here. If I want to go gift wrap, I can go here. If this is cumbersome and you feel like he's going to break the grip right here, like stretch your arm, break the grip. If you feel like that and you want to get the gift wrap, you can take your hand out, go on the outside. Outside, now it's easier to control. Go here, then go back underneath. All kinds of options on how you're going to reach these, these positions. Mm. Boom, step over. Now I lasso off, arm bar. Okay, and now we have a basic arm bar. Guy tries to hold, boom, I lock my feet. Control the shoulder, work on wearing this guy out. Which way am I gonna go? See that, I go side to side. I try to figure out where he's weak. If I look at his lock, I see that his hands will come out this way. So I'm gonna, go ahead, hold tight. So now I'm gonna come here and then break that lock and squeeze in my legs as I bring it back, okay? It's perfect. I don't know about perfect, but it works. So guys, um, keep working on your technique, improve. When you hit this drill, spinning around the head, a lot of guys are gonna pull their elbows in. When they pull their elbows in, slap that wrist and catch the Kimura grip, and then go to work from there. Back, arm bar, Kimura, simple stuff, easy stuff, um, bread and butter stuff. So, bring it into your game. It's perfect. Thank All you, right. Eddie. Sweet. All right, thank you guys so much. Uh, what else can be said? Share this video. Share it with your friends. Click the link down below at Patreon, PayPal, Please contribute to my channel. I work really hard to, to give you guys the best stuff that I know. And I'm always evolving myself. I'm learning stuff all the time. And I got new stuff in my bag of tricks I want to bring to you soon. Okay, thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Let's go eat some pizza. Pizza, baby. Pizza. Pizza. Pizza.